as a parent, it just scares me to death that that happened so close to the house. A deadly shooting rocks in Overland Park neighborhood. Police say the home was being rented for vacation use. Tonight, the neighbors are pleading for a ban on short term rental properties in their Overland Park subdivision. I'm John Holt and I'm Christelle Bell. They're taking their concerns to the homeowners association after a woman was shot and killed at that home. Fox 4's Malik Jackson is live near that home at 145th and Knox Street. Malik, the board president is ready to take action too. Yes, Christelle, he has the ball rolling in the house at the center of this investigation has been a concern for neighbors for some time, but it's not the only house in the neighborhood being used as a short term vacation rental. But as you mentioned, someone is dead and the people we talk to want changes now. Anything that that we had counted on in terms of this being a very safe place just isn't happening anymore. We have a teenagers, kids, young kids running around, you know, in the neighborhood. They're supposed to be a really safe neighborhood. So I now I don't feel comfortable for my kids. Overland Park recording its first homicide of the year in this neighborhood at this house, a vacation rental home, according to the HOA president, one that has caused problems before. It's certainly not the first time I've heard of complaints about the Airbnb because of the nature with so many different people rolling through the neighborhood and staying there for a few days. Chris McGuire, the president of this HOA, says when he came home Saturday, he saw more than nine cars. Neighbors say the house had loud music going until three or four in the morning. Even more concerning, now someone is dead. It scares me because just thinking of a somebody shooting and that bullet could travel anywhere. Not only do neighbors, but the HOA president himself want to see these sort of rentals gone. You never want to think a, you know someone's going to get killed, um, but this just really highlighted the idea of what can happen when you have these short-term rentals near you. McGuire wants his neighbors to know he has already started the process to say goodbye to these forever. We are taking a very serious look at, at what can be done here. And so our hope is over the next few weeks is to implement what we're able to do through the lawyer um, and get changes made to the bylaws. Now, police tell us the people inside the house were from Topeka and Wichita. Working for you, we reached out to the city to see what, if anything, they would do about allowing these short-term vacation rentals within the city, and we are still waiting the statement we expected. We also reached out to the homeowner, and he has not returned our calls. Within the last hour, charges have been have came down against a person in regards to this case. New at 6, the Homeowners Association's president's message to the homeowner, Christelle.